digging and we found that one of Smollett's attorneys, Patricia Brown Holmes, has actually contributed to state's attorney Kim Fox's campaign in the past. According to the state's election website, we found that Patricia Brown Holmes donated $250 to Friends for Fox in December of 2018 and in 2015 donated $1,000. We took a closer look at where this case currently stands and could be heading. Just as quickly as Jussie Smollett left court, leaving behind 16 felony counts, Mayor Rahm Emanuel sent Smollett a bill for the overtime costs down to the very last penny. A brilliant move by the, the city. Smollett has until next Thursday to pay, and if it's not on time under municipal code, the city can go after Smollett in civil court for up to three times the damages. CBS 2 legal analyst Irv Miller says more than money, a civil court decision could rule that Smollett, in fact, staged his own attack. He could do nothing. He could pay the $130,000, or he could just say to his lawyers, we're going to fight this. If he fights and doesn't pay... There would have to be an actual judgment that he, in fact, lied to the police and filed a false police report. But before the city is able to recoup the money, they would have to convince a judge or jury more likely than not that Smollett staged his own attack, a much lower bar than in criminal cases. You're sort of left scratching your head saying, what was so embarrassing about this case that made the prosecution say, we're going to drop it. Eric Sussman, now in private practice, used to be number two under state's attorney Kim Fox, the role now held by Joe McGatz, who took and ultimately dropped the case after Fox symbolically recused herself. If she's recused, she knows nothing more about the case than you and I do and really has no business opining or speaking for the office about that case if she was in fact recused. But Fox did just that days after charges were dropped. There was no attempt whatsoever to influence the outcome of this case. You kind of can't have it both ways. You're either in or you're out. And Ms. Fox seems to want to have it both ways. And just tonight, a commentary written by state's attorney Kim Fox was published by the Chicago Tribune. In that commentary, she says that she welcomes outside review of how her office handled this case. Live in the control room tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Brad and Erica. Okay, Charlie, thank you.